All right, we got some serious accusations from a man by the name of EDP455. He's a man named by Brian Moreland, named by two crackhead parents because they came up by the decision to put a T on the end of Brian. This man has 2 million subscribers. I'm even surprised of this man having that many, but this is his infamous videos. Would you guys consider jacking off to be a sport? I don't know about you motherfuckers, but I consider that shit to be a sport, okay? If people can sit back and label goddamn golf, which is the boringest fucking sport in the world, a goddamn sport, if you can label that shit as a sport, and if you can label goddamn fishing as a sport, I know damn well you can label jacking off a sport. Yes, EDP, we know what you jack off to now. But all of this starts dissipating away when allegations starts turning into reading your Miranda rights. And I'm surprised that the fans are defending this this weirdo because people really think that EDP 455 mistakenly didn't see the age because what else do you do when you're trying to meet a woman? You ask for the age and EDP 455 gets exposed talking to underage girls many times way before. So anyways, so in July 9th, prior from last summer, EDP released a video clearing up rumors that he has been caught chatting with underage minors. No, no, no. Not minor, not singular, we're talking about plural, minors, in the same exposed claims. But in the end, he denied these claims whatsoever. In the same year, believe it or not, in October the 14th, Cold Ribbon released a video, episode 8 of his series Slaughterhouse. In this video, he exposed EDP45 in the worst way imaginable, showing proof that he was texting minors and he made fake accounts to catch EDP as a decoy and he fell for it many, many times. So it's yuck mouth pussy known as eat that underage pussy 445 or ed pedal 445 had just been caught texting a fifth not one not two not three not four but five a fifth underage girl right here he called it cute in her comments and she did confirm the fact to one of my subscribers that she is 15 years old so again you want to defend him on the first one which he lied about he got caught lying in a live stream about saying that uh he never seen her but then two days earlier you were describing her to a t you lied about that one. You don't want to address two, three, and four. So if you got caught lying about the first one, but you don't want to address two, three, and four, and now you just got caught by a fifth one, a fifth underage girl. This is no fucking coincidence. Like, oh, it's just an accident. Yeah, fifth time, a fifth fucking accident. Get the fuck out of here. But you want to bitch and complain when people call you a fucking pedophile, but you keep texting underage girls, calling them cute, sexy, beautiful, babe, future wifey. You're a fucking pedo, homie. We all know it. And the fact that your little fanboys attack these girls is pathetic. They are victims. You want to go in there and try to lure them to your little fucking rape dungeon, and they are victims, and your little fanboys are going to attack them in their DMs, telling them to kill themselves, and how they are bitches and whores. Like, are you kidding me? So you make victims out of these girls, and they're in the wrong by reporting it? So basically, EDP45 starts responding uh, against Cold Raven's uh, claims about Cold Raven not necessarily really caring about the situation that much, but instead just tries to do it for clout. In which, in my opinion, it's kind of like uh, EDP45 is not necessarily uh, talking about the claims and mostly talking about his character that it's failing. And I, I just don't think that it's really that innocent. You know what, man? Punk ass motherfuckers like Cold Raven, they all come and go. You know what I mean? I've been up on this fucking platform for 10 plus fucking years. I've seen bitch ass motherfuckers come and go try to make a goddamn name by trying to expose me, by trying to do whatever the fuck that they can to try to get their goddamn subs and their fucking name popular and get it fucking boosted up in the fucking YouTube ranks. You know what I mean? I work hard to get to where I'm at, and I'll be damned if I'm going to let some punk-ass motherfucking wannabe Chris Brown-looking motherfucker ruin what the fuck I've busted my ass so fucking hard to get. You know what I mean? I'll be damned if I'm going to let a buster motherfucker like this sit back and run my goddamn name through the motherfucking mud. It's funny as shit, just like I mentioned before. I've seen little punk-ass motherfuckers exactly like Cold Raven come and fucking go. With these stupid ass goddamn hate videos, with these dumb retarded ass motherfucking, oh, I've exposed EDP, look at this fucking shit. Oh, we're going to try to get him fucking canceled. We're going to try to fucking, you know, get him locked up and thrown in fucking jail. 
You see what I mean? It's not really that innocent as you think. I mean, he literally just starts explaining it like for like five more minutes on the end of the video in which he just talks about another situation. He only talks about the situation like half way to the video and it doesn't really necessarily even talk about the situation at all. He just says, bitch fucking and that's like the only words that is stuck inside of his sentences. Like, I don't know what it's like integrating words in your sentences every single time when you type a word on a word document. That's literally what... Uh, EDP is. And then no later than a month later, EDP45 released a video <clears throat> called My Response to Cold Raven. In this video, he was acting innocently of him eating Wingstop, like the fat ball testicle head he is. And he intentionally pulls out a gun during the video implying that he was going to kill Cold Raven instead of like responding uh, due diligently. Because let's say, uh, you know, EDP45, he's not really clear about the situation. Like he's not really responding like the magnitude against the allegations uh, that are against him. So let's give this guy a reality check. So if there were some real accusations thrown at me that I was caught sexing a minor, I wouldn't be responding uh, with eating wings and around the video pulling out a gun. So, I would say this guy's just clearly delusional and just clearly egotistical. But this guy is so far up in his own ass, this 300 pound fat fuck, and the only time you see this man running for exercising is when he starts running through the streets just for McDonald's and he calls that working out. So th this guy is so pathetic. And on November 17th, EDP read out a donation trying to clear out his credibility as a character that he was innocent. And then he responded, A group of no life ass no pussy getting motherfuckers decided to make a fuckload of fake accounts pretending to be fucking girls. And I like a dumbass. I like a dumbass. I fell for it. Now everyone's on this fucking pedo shit. You know what I'm saying? But nah, you should you should really just took, take this on a logical standpoint. Like this is this is no fucking around this time. How can you out of all the fake accounts? Let's say if it was like three or five, you could at least ask these people or these girls where the fuck they were women about an ID, hold up three fingers, like shit like that, just like in Tinder where you you don't get fucking catfished. And this shit is the worst excuse I have ever heard in my life. But let's get into the real part of the story where uh, the juiciest part where EDP45 was exposed from Alex from Predator Poachers, aka Chef Goldstein. The irony is that I actually watched uh, Alex's videos like Predator Poachers. I actually donated plenty of times. Uh, I really do... Um like, I really accept the work that he has done before, and uh, I guess that his channel got taken down. He went to Chef Goldstein, and um, I guess, uh, you know, Alex, out of nowhere, catches a man with 2 million subscribers under his belt, caught in 4K, none other than EDP 455. I mean, the situation is not that hard to explain, but now, in my opinion on this situation, it is very simple. I really don't care about deep platforming or some sort, but there is a difference between breaking the law and some sort of uh, internet drama that someone got into. I mean, it's pretty degenerate to talk to someone's daughter who is 13. I mean, the allegations are no al no longer allegations. This just takes the fucking cake. And by the way, if you were an EDP fan, this guy is not even funny at all. I mean, I, I understand this guy is part of the fucking Reddit, Reddit uh, threads and shit like that. Twitter shit, Twitter gifts. I don't give a shit, but... It's not funny screaming onto the mic for comedic effect. It's not funny using your microphone from your phone that is not funny either. And then blasting all the audio on your editing software from your phone is not funny either. Not to mention, for some reason, EDP didn't have to make a video on this either. But he was caught making fun of someone breaking his own bones on an NFL player who was a cowboy player and oh i i don't watch football and I, i'm definitely not a cowgirl fan in which uh that basically means that i'm biased in this scenario in which i'm not at all, all right. how's it feel to get your shit fucked up my nigga see here's the thing cowboy fans you motherfuckers talk so much shit oh angry prone ass carson wins he ain't shit <laughs> karma bitch Suck my balls, nigga. Fuck the Cowboys, nigga. EDP, you know your life is ruined when you are away from six feet away from your phone and I can still hear you breathing. That's called a heart attack. I hope that fucking shit's career ending, dog.
Get the fuck out of here, man. Like, nigga, dog, let me fucking tell you something, man. All the fucking shit that I've had to deal with, you feel me? Oh, what if it, it, it was Wentz? What if it was Wentz? But that doesn't take away the fucking point, my nigga, you feel me, that all these motherfucking cowboy fans was talking so much shit over the past fucking years about fucking Wentz and oh my God, he's so fucking injury prone and oh man, Wentz is a little bitch. Now you fuck your shit up. I would say this is one of the scummiest shit I've ever seen. I mean, you're just basically making fun of someone's career in which Dad Prescott, and I'm seeing his records right now, he is a very decorated person. And even though this guy is making fun of the way how he broke his bones, how he's going to end his career now, in which EDP45 just blatantly just fucking says it without no precaution whatsoever. And here is the video where he gets caught in 4K. Hey, please, look into this guy EDP. This guy's a creep. Because she never said she was lonely right here, correct? Yes or no? Correct. Okay. And you did double text here, yes or no? Correct. Knowing, and it said on her profile, 13, yes? Correct. Okay. So you initiated a conversation with a 13-year-old knowing she was 13, yes or no? Correct. Man, that's it for fucking me, man. I, this guy's a fucking creep. They should put this guy in fucking jail. There's a clear difference between cancellation and uh, clearly just talking about something that's breaking the law, like a code from the government or the state. And so, yeah, that's it for me, and, uh, see you guys later, and, uh, oh yeah, last summary, uh, I wanna put all the things in the description below so you guys can see the information where I got it, and so yeah, see you guys later.